Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about the one, the only, Bronny James Jr. We are going to discuss whether Bronny James Jr. has a chance to make an impact for the Lakers and what that impact potentially looks like. Will he get playing time? Will he be in the G League? Will he start alongside his father? I am very curious is whether how much playing time he'll essentially be able to get and how much of that will be deserved versus not deserved and will he have a positive impact on the court. Let's go. All right, let's start with him on defense. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the times when I thought he made some mistakes on defense and what those in particular were. So first off, here's the screen. The Lakers are switching this. So that means Bronny is now on number 31. He gets a little bit lost. They're expecting the back cut, still following his player. And so because of that, he gets caught on a screen and does allow for a little bit of open room to drive. However, the bigger issue, I think, and this is one of the overarching concepts I saw from Bronny a lot, is he was reactionary in that he likes to leave his feet to have a quick contest right there. This jump right here, I'm not a huge fan of because it puts you in the air while your offensive player is able to drive, and it just makes it so you're slightly out of position. And he does a good job recovering and has a late contest. However, I don't like the little jumps right there to get you slightly out of position. So one of the good things I like to Bronny is he did a pretty good job of on ball. We're going to get some more specific clips of those. However, one of the things is off ball. I was really impressed with his awareness. And so here when this happened, he heeds the next help essentially, but he's aware of where his player is for sure. And he closes out. And so here we can see that 18 is going to stick out his right leg. And this is ultimately what the rest ruled. Although they said it was a foul on the shot originally, they did rule that 18 sticks out his leg right here. Because Bronny does a good job of going right by the side where you're contesting, but you're not going to hit the player. And so that, I think, is very good awareness from Bronny, that he's closing out to the right area. And I'm glad the refs made the right call in that situation, too. And so the main defensive concepts that I was worried about is, like, if he doesn't provide that much on offense, that's okay. However, if he's a liability on defense, that's a major issue. So he did a fairly good job playing defense in this game. The first situation is they run an ice pick and roll there, or their ice ball screen there, where they're making sure the defender goes this way. And so they do a great job of, I'm sure they practice this not very much, and frankly do a fantastic job of him and number 14 closing him off there, and then contesting as 37 rises for the shot as well. And then another big area, and this is the, I, I really like this thing, is he does a great job of communication. He called out switches very well, pointed in transition, and this is the kind of thing, like, even if his skills lack a little bit, your awareness and your IQ, obviously his father has great awareness and IQ as well, is that will translate no matter what. Like that is always going to be universal. This is a switch here. The Lakers are switching. So 31 comes across. Bronny now goes to 18. And him and Dalton do that seamlessly. And I think that is a very good sign. And then the last example we have for Bronny on defense, we're going to watch him off the ball here. And so he does a good job as soon as the ball gets rotated. He's providing help, still being aware of the three seconds or whatever it is on defense. So he gets out when he needs to and then goes back in. And so he does a good job providing help when he's need to. He's covering this pass, this lob to the inside, and also staying home to a shooter. Okay. So as this ball gets moved around, he shifts up to make sure he doesn't get caught on the screen by 41. And so that's good awareness. And then as this screen happens, the ball is going to get loosely past the 31. And Bronny's in the right position to go get the steal. Not the greatest pass, definitely. However, being in the right position saves a lot. And so the only thing that I... I'd be semi-critical is he's a little bit overreactionary. Like he moves up and then he has to move back and then he moves up again and he moved out and he moved in and he moved out. I'd like him to be a little bit more calm with his presence and stay on the balls of his feet and be a, a, able to spring essentially and be athletic. And it's quite possible that he's got a lot of nerves going into this game. So he's got a little bit more fast twitchy than he normally would. However, I think he did a very good job on defense and I was, I was pleasantly surprised with him on defense. And so this, translates perfectly to one of the other i'd say his best aspect which was going to be his transition and so he played very well i thought in transition made simple easy passes which i think is crucial don't do too much don't worry about the highlight dunks don't worry about none of that find when you have an advantage a three on two advantage find the easy simple pass ahead and let that create your offense because i mean you're going to be surrounded with good talents on the lakers and so in these transitions, he definitely has a good understanding of where he needs to be spacing-wise. 
we can see as soon as this ball is pushed in transition, Giza immediately knows where he's going and he's running hard to get there. So he's sprinting towards the corner up here. And so as this ball, so first off, that creates the difficulty on this defender. Now he has to pick between 21 and Brani. And so it creates a little bit more stress on the defense. And so he's able to be open because of it. So as this ball gets kicked out, he is immediately knows where the open player is. He sees that this player is open. And so as this closeout happens right here, he's swinging it before this pass even gets here. And this is like, this reminds me of LeBron in a sense is like, he anticipates where the game is going prior to it even getting there. And so before this pass has happened, Bronny recognizes that this is a player that's going to be open. And so that I think is very, very impressive. I don't know if 29 can shoot. Ideally, I would like him to, to shoot this ball right here instead of driving it. But I mean, that's, that's fine. But Bronny did the right thing in concept, spacing the floor and then knowing where the ideal pass was on the outside. And so then we get to the biggest potential current concern for me, and that's Bronny on offense. And so will he be able to play efficient basketball? And so, I mean, if he's going to rise up for this shot, like what percent can he hit this shot at? But the concept for me is going to be essentially if he can shoot 35% from the outside from three, he has a real chance to, to be fine on on offense for the Lakers. If he can't shoot 35% and he can't drive super efficiently, then that's going to be a huge issue because people, teams are going to be able to sag off him and it's not like he's going to be just an absolute lockdown defender. So I think it's all going to really come down to this shot right here. Can he shoot this shot when teams are helping off aggressively? And if he can, yeah, I think he'll be okay. If he can't, issues. And then so... One of the other things is I didn't really see very much of Bronny essentially driving downhill. He didn't have the explosive or the quick twitch movement to get by his initial defender. There were some sets they ran specifically where he has essentially a huge runway to get downhill. And he did a good job in those situations. However, I don't anticipate a scene, a drive first mentality like maybe we would with LeBron. And so in conclusion, I was very honestly surprised with Bronny and pleasantly surprised is he did a good job on defense first off. He had good awareness in particular. He has good athletic ability, was a little bit quick twitchy in my opinion, but did a good job being in the right position at the right time. I do think offense is going to be the biggest question. However, I think he's going to be a positive in transition. I think he'll be at minimum a neutral on defense, if not a positive. And then I think the question is going to come down to what percent can he shoot from three-point range? If that's 35%, I think the Lakers will have some decent chance with him playing a little bit. If it's below 35%, I think there's going to be some real questions for how many minutes he can get on the Lakers. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like and subscribe. But most importantly, have a blessed rest of your day.